Mud Fossil University, what you see here is a magnified section of a very, you know, it's a small lung that petrified in a condition where the structural part of it disintegrated, but the organic part remained. Sometimes that happens. And that is what happens in opals and in agates. And in other places, the organic material goes away. That's the normal case. Uh, and, and it leaves a structural material. And that is going to be a different type of lung. I'm going to show you these right now. And then I'm going to let this play. So you And I'll talk about what you're seeing here. But they call this shock quartz. It is not shock quartz. It's a lung. This is what a lung looks like when they're mud fossil lungs and they're petrified and what happens all the organics in here has sublimated out of here and it vaporized out and now you have all the holes that are the holes in lungs and all of the different alveoli places and there's still some red blood that's solidified in there it's now it's iron ironish and and these holes will create bugs and they will end up with uh, crystals I think there's one around here somewhere I'm not sure if there's one. There is one here somewhere, if I can ever find it. Oh, here it is, right there. See that? My fingertip is right there. They, 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 they fill in. If there's any, any metals left that hadn't leached out, they will start to create crystals in the vugs. They call them vugs. This has all the metals and minerals still left in it, and it actually has still the blood. You see where all these little depressions are, that little scruffy looking, uh, let me see if I can get a, a plane where you can see them, obviously. I suppose that's good enough. You can see all those little tiny holes in there. That's, where, that's blood. That's what blood is. And these are all the crystals that are in your lung tissues. And those are the metals. That any, anytime you see a different color, it's a transition metal. The transition metal is what actually does the gas changing in your lungs. And each one of these has its own little colors and metals. And that's how all, there's 3,500 different chemicals now that they know to come out of your lungs, not just carbon dioxide. It doesn't just take in oxygen, I'm sure. But it expels all of these different things using carboxylation and transition metal complex ligand transfers. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. They, they turn it from car, car, carboxylation and carbonic acids into um, uh, carbonic acids and you blow them out of your lungs. So that's just the way it works. And these are these are not shock quartz. These are lung tissues. You see that? And this is the magnification. I'll see it a little bit better here. All right, so let me just play this, and I'll make a mention here and there if I see something. But you can see, you see all the different colors? I'm going to be just... You see the different colors, purples and blues and reds and yellows and oranges, and, you know, that's the blood down in there. Now... You see, oops, what did I do? Yeah, let's go. You, you see all these different colors and, and crystals, and that's what's in lungs. Now, they would say that's shock quartz. Oh, that happened from an impact of a meteor. It is not. It is absolutely not. This is back biological. It's biological. And you see that? Look at that one there. That right there is where... The, the alveoli was accessed through a passage inside there. You're looking through the crystal into the lung. <laughs> look, at it, look at this different colors right next to each other, all bumped up against each other. That's, that's what it's for. It's, it's, it's here so as the blood passes by, these normally wouldn't have been filled up like this. There would have been air going through there. But each one of them has its own type of metal in there because it does a different job. You see all these little fractures and cracks inside them? That's not shocked. That's, see that? They'd look at it. Oh, that's shocked. Somebody hit that. And it created all these cracks and things. No, it is not. That's from a lung. So, that's all I can say is you have to look and see what using mud fossilized. And they have to come down off their high horse 
and say, all right, we'll take a look at this because it's real. I mean, you can walk around all you want. You're just looking in the woods, for, like laughing in the woods, like playing games. That is not shark courts. Case closed on shark courts as far as I'm concerned. Now let's go see what they have to say. These are all what they call shocked quartz grains. And they are showing the same exact patterns that are in lungs. And I have them in the lungs that I have here. There's nothing special about what they're showing here as shock quartz. They just don't understand the origin. So let's look. Well, either I've shown it to you or we'll look at it again now. But one or the other will go on to something else. Okay, you've seen what lungs are. And they are what they call traditionally shock quartz. Now this is from nuclear explosion. They call this shock quartz too. This is irradiated quartz. It's not, it's not, it is shocked, yes, absolutely. But it is irradiated and that's why the external surfaces are, are, are irradiated more than the internal. That's why you get that changing pattern going towards the center. This is not fractured like the lungs that I show or like the other stuff that, that um, all these people that are, are looking around like Meteor Crater. That's not, that's not right. He was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not right. And, and, and also Chicxulub. I looked at all of the core drillings and it's all mud fossils. It's all mud fossils. It, all of the things that they think are shot quartz, not shot quartz, lungs. And you can see the iron in it and everything, all the red blood's in there. And I'm sure if they do DNA samples on it, they're going to find that it's a creature. Now, I don't know what it was, but I'm telling you right now, this earth was covered with giant creatures. Titans were reality. Mudfossil University is just a fact.